me falling Falling in love, that's what you call it You got me falling Falling in love, that's what you call it I'm not really falling by the title of the video we are doing a shop with me haul christmas haul i don't know how i hopefully y'all can see me i feel like y'all can't i mean i feel like y'all can see me but like my camera is such in a weird spot because i never have a, a car where i can put my camera at like it's always in an awkward spot because i have so much going on in the dash area whatever it's called like i have this big old ipad thing so there's nowhere to put this camera but anyways welcome how are you guys doing i feel like i haven't seen y'all in such a long time i feel like it's been a minute since i've seen y'all or talked to y'all i've been real busy for the past week i had to get through our daughter's birthday thank you guys so much for wishing our daughter a happy birthday it was fun that weekend well last week was all about her and the kids so we were pretty much tied up and then Halloween came, which for some reason, Halloween wasn't all that popping. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Excuse me. My allergies are acting up again. Bless me. But um, the kids weren't all that like out. And when they, they, they came in like sprouts, but it was pretty much over at the end of the, end of the like, by 7 38 it was time to go inside y'all i had candy left over not much but i definitely had candy left over compared to last year so i don't know i don't know y'all fair warning i'm about to eat my sandwich i'm starving it's about 10 30 i'm late getting out the house because it took me forever to film a tiktok uh i kept like messing up so it took me forever but i'm late going out the house i have my sandwich i have my coffee y'all let's get into it cheers okay mm, we're not true with my mouth open <laughs> yeah i'm gonna have to fast forward past this part because i'm excited to talk to y'all but i'm hungry at the same time mm, 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 mm. things are changing in my life as far as like you know things are shifting i wouldn't say changing they're just shifting into a different realm so i'm just keeping an open mind and accepting it i made my doctor's appointment so we're getting our health in order getting my goals completed checked off i feel like november is such a short month these times are bittersweet you know what i'm saying as y'all y'all know y'all see these times are freaking scary wicked they go by so fast life is so short but how are y'all feeling oh um, yeah this intro is gonna be long because i feel like i have not like sat down and talked to you guys but y'all yeah. guess what i signed up for a mommy drive it's like a mommy event 
but it's like a, a Christmas drive. I mentioned this before, but this is just one of those things where I want to like start exploring. Like I think before I said like, you know, before my channel, if you guys remember, I was talking about, sorry, my car is so dusty. Like what the heck? Remember before I was talking about um, meeting friends and finding friends in Atlanta and like who are like-minded or whatever. But now I think I'm just focused on finding connections where I can have the same business mindset. We're in like the similar position of content creating. We create similar content because that's what I think. I feel like there is a big group of millennial moms out there who are content creators and we're good at what we do but for some reason we don't have a niche like we don't have a niche we don't and I don't understand why because at this time when everything else is popping off and everything else is there we should have a niche we were here before the it girls we were the it girls we still are we're just a little older but we were here before so like I don't understand why we don't have like a niche and when I look at like YouTube since you like you have your YouTube page right and you have your analytics from YouTube and YouTube shows you what your viewers who else they watch and there's a lot of of y'all who watch other YouTubers that I watch that are mommy content creators even I see y'all commenting on all of our videos excuse me so I don't understand like I feel like it would be so dope to team up with those women and create content together or similar content or whatever collab I don't know but we need to like have a moment because we are all similar like we're all we are all similar she was staring like girl go on mind your business but what was I saying oh yeah but I feel like most of my, like, I feel like the millennial mommy creators that do YouTube and content create are, we're all similar. And I feel like we should all just, like, collab or join forces because I feel like that's how we got, we're, we create our niche within each other because all the it girls be teaming up. All the girl, everybody be teaming up. Everybody be teaming up. So I don't understand, like, we, why we don't. <laughs> I feel like that's something that definitely can come in the future. And y'all, next year, my goals, like, it's going to go so hard. I went back to work <coughs> and, excuse me, I went back to work and I'm not going to lie. I feel like this year, even though I gained a lot of subscribers, I feel like I literally just kind of fell off because I feel like the most thing I did was get married and even though that was like a wonderful day in my life no one talks about how much marriage like the aftermath of marriage like I don't know why people don't talk about that like it feels like you have to find yourself all over again even though there's not it shouldn't feel like that way because it wasn't much of a difference because y'all just I'm um, married on paper but it's not that let me tell you something it has nothing to do with your actual partner it's the stress and everything else leading up to the wedding that you have to like redeem yourself from like you have to recover from no one talks about that like all this planning and stress and everything that you did up until the day you got married and in hours it's over and you are left with that overwhelmness that literally could take months to get out of like let me stop saying no one talks about it because they do it's in blogs but not many people talk about it enough it literally makes you feel like you have to like come out of rehab or something i don't know it feels weird it feels weird so even though i have been enjoying content creating since i got since the wedding and stuff and i feel like i'm back into the swing of things i still feel exhausted sometimes from the wedding <laughs> The wedding was in May. <laughs> it's November. <laughs> but I feel like... I feel like I'm tired still. I don't know. I don't know. But... No, uh, seriously. But seriously, though, that's true. Because I, I got married in May. I started a new job in July. And then we've been just rolling with the punches since then. 
<sighs> my soul is tired. <laughs> my soul is like, where is the retreat? Where is our vacation? Where is our palm trees? Anyways, enough of yeah, enough of the enough of the rambling jambling. Rambling jambling. Okay, let's stop talking and let's get moving because I know that's what y'all care about. Y'all don't care about me talking. All right. <clears throat> We're going inside of uh Walmart. This should be easy and fun. I was in a car this whole time with my thing on. Hi, good morning. Good morning. Y'all, Walmart is playing this year. Uh, look at this. Photo Christmas blessings. They have a photo um, frame, $5. Um, all these bag clips, cookie cutters, $3, y'all. Um, Christmas signs, like decor. This is heavy too, five dollars. Activity sheets. This is cute. This is only a dollar. I'm gonna get this for me. See, so many. Well, they have some at um, Dollar Tree actually. They have the trees. They have candles, five dollars. These are candles. They don't really smell like anything. I wouldn't trust getting them because I bought some for Halloween or fall, and they didn't smell like anything. Look at this side. They have all of their mixers. This is a cocktail shaker for five dollars. A Christmas cocktail shaker. So freaking cute, y'all. So cute. They have tons and tons and tons of stuff. Literally so much. Look at this. Three dollars. We are saying that I was naughty. It was worth it. <laughs> I want to get Macy um something. This is cute. Her room. Um. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Let me fix this because they're over here. This is exactly why everybody don't like people filming because people come over here and they try to mess it up. Bottle cheese. These are three dollars. Um, some stuff I did believe was kind of cheaper at uh, Target only because those bottle trees, I believe they're like they're not five dollars and they ain't worth five dollars. This sign is cute. This is only five dollars. Um, this sign too is cute. Five dollars. Oh my god, they even got the cups. Kitchen towels. I have so many kitchen towels. I don't need any more. The socks. Um, the socks are only three twenty-four. Aloe infused. Oh, they're aloe infused. Girl, what? I ain't never got before. Aloe infused socks. Never heard of that, but sounds cool. I have a pair of Christmas socks. I need more, but you know, you never know. And then they have this picture frame. Oh, this is cute. So it goes like this. It's like a sleigh. That's cute. I like that. That's really cute. Look at this. I saw the one from um, freaking, what's this place called? Target? Look at how cheap this one is. This one's only five dollars. They have these branch lights I've never seen before. They're lit branches, so I guess they are pre-lit branches. You can put them in a vase or whatever, and they're pre-lit. That's cute. And then they have these two-piece log set, five dollars for logs. I have some already though. A bag of three pine cones. These, this is three dollars. Do I have pine cones? I have pine cones. Popcorn buckets. My family and I watch a lot of movies. So it says, I like corny Christmas movies. There, I said it. <laughs> that is too cute. Yeah, look at these. Oh my gosh. These are gorgeous. These ceramic dishes, and it's only $12.86. 
And then they have the small plates for, oh my gosh, two feet, three fifty eight. Like, that is so cute. I don't know what to put in this, but man, this is really nice for 12. That is so cute. I love that. They have these houses. Um, they're pre-lit houses. I don't know if I need any of these, but I had these last year. They have mugs for $4.86. You know, the mugs that are at um, Target for 5 These are $4.86. I have mugs. Look at this. Oh, my gosh. Y'all, look at this set. That is so cute. I wish... I love this, but I wish this bottle was in this bottle. Like, I wish they could switch that out. Okay, so here is the garland that I want. Oh my gosh. People are like coming, running to get this. So I'm happy that I'm coming to get this because somebody posted this on TikTok and I was like, oh no. Once you post it on TikTok, it's overweight. So I've seen this also on TikTok go viral, but like, I'm not here for the flock. I have a flock. Christmas tree and I live around with this flock but as far as the garland goes I don't feel like dealing with that so I did see a girl on TikTok where she told us like to get this type of flock I and mean, type of garland because it always sells out and it's super super popular which they have some right here all up there it's only $15.88 but I just love the way this one looks that's the one I was like looking for even though it is more expensive it's $27.00 88 but i think it's worth it um what i do like is this one too like i wouldn't mind this one either but this one is like 20 bucks so i might as well spend an extra eight dollars to get the one that i want so um i was just coming to see what other type of garland that they have because they have so many roofs and garlands on the outside where like the christmas trees are and the lights so my second choice would be this garden right here. Someone already took one of them out. So that's how it looks. It's not bad. I probably want to like flock it out. It doesn't look bad at all. Like I actually like the way this looks. But I don't know. I think I like the one that I already have this rig actually doesn't look bad it's pretty like full for 20 bucks it's not pre-lit it's not a pre-lit wreath though so that kind of sucks but i love how full it is it is extremely full i love that i love this wreath it's really cute do I want a pretty lit roof? I kind of do. Um, I didn't have one last year. So I kind of want one this year. Yeah. Dang, that's too bad. Because this is this is really cute. I just I just don't like how it's not pretty lit. <laughs> but I don't know if it's still worth getting, even though it's not pre lit. What do y'all think? We'll see. I don't know. Right, I'm at Target, y'all, again. <laughs> and look at these socks. Look at the reputation. Mr. Mr. Little Claws. It's mom, dad. They have all kinds of, you know, mixed families. Mom, dad. Because, you know, it's not just two moms, two dads. Y'all know. It's everybody. Everyone. I love how they are representing everyone. Look at this, y'all. You see the Santa Claus? Look at the brown Santa. Hi, Ari. Representation matters. I'm not gonna get our pajamas yet. Um, we'll come back and get them. I'm um, gonna come back and get them before we have to do our Thanksgiving because that's when our tree officially goes up. So uh, the pajamas have the beards with the different brown dads. I am loving the representation. They're like, come on, come on black joy every season that's kind of cheesy but i did it y'all tried y'all it's happening it's happening the wonder shop is here 
Um, the trees, they have started. Um, this is what I'm talking about. They have $5 um, bottleneck trees, but it's like a pack of two of them versus like Walmart. They have the lights. They're working back here. Oh, that's cute. Yeah, they got everything off. The lights. Little decor for the rooms. A bunch of Christmas wrapping. Cute bows. I love these. So cute. Y'all know I already got the velvet ribbon from um, Hobby Lobby. Which was cheap because it was 50% off. But they have so much cute stuff. Holiday shop. Oh my gosh, I cannot. These are here. They're only 15 bucks. I like the wine color. That's like what my theme is. Look at these. These are only $15. Yeah, look how cute they are. Sparkly. And they're big. They're right here. I found these stockings. They don't have the other one that I want. Y'all know I have these already. They don't have the other stocking that I want. So I'm debating on getting these. Well, I want this one for sure. Maybe I'll switch it up. Yeah, these two. This is $40. This is so cute and tall. These two right here as well. These are $60. The threshold ones. Oh my god, they're so cute though. Like the potter ones, so cute. Alright y'all, be back home. Hold on, let me get some lotion real quick on my hands because I just washed them. Lotion, my hand lotion. Oh, is there any left? All right. Okay. Ouch. All right, I'm back home, and I need to get all of this stuff moved into the house. I'm gonna show you what I'm talking about. So all of this stuff. All this stuff, I'm gonna move it into the house because this is the hall. Some of the stuff I have from last year, but I still gotta move it into the house because it's gonna be part of my decor. Um, I'm not gonna move the Christmas trees yet because it's pretty explanatory what those look like. This big one is our actual one for the living room, so it's huge. These two are Macy's and for the front um, porch, like outside, so. I'm gonna move all these in and then we'll go through everything. Whew. Okay, we are about to go through all of this stuff because I need to figure out what's what. All right, so. I'm so scared there's like a spider. Oh, Lord, please don't let there be a spider or anything in here. Okay, so these right here. Oh, it came off. These right here are my reefs for the windows for outside. So I'm keeping those. Those are actually going back in here. Um, I have how many? One, two, three, four, five, six. I have six of them. Or one, two. One of them, the battery box broke. So this one, the battery box broke, but I can still use it. I can still use it. They're pre-lit battery operated reefs that I got from um, Bed Bath & Beyond last year for so cheap. I saw them again this year, but they weren't unfortunately as cheap as I bought them last year, but they do have them available. I will try to link everything, but y'all know stuff is like, come as it, it comes and goes. So if, it's a, if there's a link for it, I will link it, okay? Okay, so. Let's see what's in here. Cause some stuff has to go in the trash. This can go in the trash. 
This right here is a flock tree that I got from Target last year. I don't know how much it was, but it was from like the bullseye section. So I'm definitely keeping this, putting this out. Um, what is this in here? Oh. oh, I have this glass tree that I got from Threshold last year. Cute, definitely keeping that out to go in the living room. This stuff is Macy's room, so this, I forgot, I think I got this from Walmart. No, I got this, I can't remember where I got these from. Oh yeah, this, if y'all are familiar with Chelsea on YouTube and Instagram, I'm pretty sure y'all are, but she gifted Macy a whole bunch of like pink Christmas decor. So this was from her last year. I have a whole box full of it, and I used it to decorate Macy's room as well as this. So these things I'll keep for Macy's from. These are extra ornaments of Macy's, so I'm definitely gonna keep those. I'm gonna put them in the bag with her Christmas tree. So all of Macy's decor is gonna go in her Christmas tree bag. So that's for Macy. See, remember I told you guys I'm not getting bottleneck trees because I already have them? That right there, I do not need. They're going right here. So I didn't buy any extra ones. This was from last year. It was like a set of pine cones. Remember I told you guys, I believe I said I don't need pine cones. I don't, I have some. And it came with like this little mistletoe stuff. Um, I have some more in here too as well. So, all of this. I will put to use, so that goes over here. I'm trying to keep like a keep pile. These Christmas trees I got last year from Wonder Shop. Um, it was only $5, so I got this from Wonder Shop. I'll keep these. I'm about to, I'm just gonna keep everything out. I also got this storage bin from Wonder Shop, so y'all was wondering. That's where I got it from. Um, so what I'm going to do is transfer like, my coffee station stuff to this because that's Halloween. And I want to keep all of my fall stuff in here. So this stuff in here, all of my coffee station stuff, like all of my Halloween stuff I'm putting in here. I'm probably gonna have to lay this down. Yeah. So all the fall stuff is going in there. These florals are like fall, orangey, Halloween-y, putting those in there. I could use for Christmas, but I don't know, I'll keep it out. But I'm definitely putting like all of my other um, Halloween stuff in here. Like all of that is in here, don't need that. Okay, so fall stuff is out the way. Well, fall and Halloween. This I'll keep just in case, you never know. I might need it for, um, what am I trying to say? Oh yeah, these. I know what Macy's stuff. Pumpkin. Anything pumpkin or Halloween is going in the bins. I'll keep this bag. I don't know, you never know. Oh, this is my second bin. I only have two of these. I do plan on getting more. They are in stock right now if you guys wanna get another bin. Oh gosh, okay. All right, so this is all my tree stuff. So I don't think, oh, is that a dead spider? <laughs> Creepy. I don't think I'm using any of these this year. So I'm gonna put it in this box. I don't think I'm using any of that stuff because I don't want ornaments on my tree and if I do, it's not gonna be those. So, these are my stockings I got last year. I linked them below, they're from Amazon. They were a four pack of these beautiful thick knit um, cream stockings. They're like cream stockings, they're still on the build. They have um, 
flocking on them because I have this garland in here. Oh, my wreath. Okay, so I have four of these. I'm gonna put these out because we will use those this year. <sighs> I have this tree. I don't think I'm gonna use it this year. Only because it's black and most of my decor is in black. I also have this one too. This was only $5 at the Wonder Shop. I don't think I'm using these two this year only because I'm not doing black, so. I'm gonna put those back. I got a lot of... <laughs> Another black tree I'm not using this year, so. I will use this one. This one was 15 last year from Threshold. I will be using this one again, so I'll put that to the side. Um, what is that noise? Oh. This black velvet reindeer I'm not using this year because Again, I'm not doing black, so that was my theme last year. This is my wreath that I got from Hearth and Hand last year from Target. So this will be going up. I don't know if I'm gonna put it above the microwave back here. Most likely I will. So that's going um, on this side because that's what. Um, oh, I have another. Oh my gosh, y'all, see, this is why. <laughs> this is why I don't buy the trees because I have plenty. Another white tree that I got from um, the dollar section in Target, so another one. And then this is a lot, <laughs> but this is the garland that I had on our um, fireplace this year, so I'm not gonna use it for our fireplace. I'm most likely gonna use it for our um, console table in our bedroom. Since our Christmas tree is gonna be flocked, I figured let's just use a, this garland. So that's going in our bedroom. I have two of them, so they'll be intertwined with each other. They're only like five foot long, I believe. So that is going in our bedroom. I have these bells that I got from Hobby Lobby last year, this bell garland. So I'll be using that for, I don't know, something this year. Who knows? More pine cones, y'all. More pine cones. I don't know if I was saying acorns earlier. I'd be confused. More pine cones, more pine cones. So I'll be using those this year as well. All right, so we're empty. I'm gonna transfer these trees that I'm not using into the other one to free up. Now I have a free bin to use. Yay. So let me show you how crazy this room looks, y'all. Everything that I purchased this year, except for the stuff that's outside the bag because that is from last year. Okay, so I'm gonna do a quick haul of everything that I purchased this year and kind of show you guys what the vibe is that I'm going for. I'll insert a picture of my inspo right here and show you guys like what I'm going for. And yeah, hopefully this helps someone who wants the same vibes as me. Okay, first things first, I have an Amazon package. You guys know that I, well, if you guys see my last vlog, I returned those Christmas pillows that I had. I have flocking all over my couch. I, I returned those Christmas pillows that I got from Target. I didn't really like them, so I went ahead and purchased new freaking pillowcases. Look how cute the package is. is. Um, they are the wine velvet pillowcases. I purchased that wine red color. I also purchased the dark like hunter green ones to go on this couch right here. I feel like that gold's better. This is what the pillows look like. I think this is a better vibe for me. That bright red with the words on it, it just was like, I, the more I looked at it, the more cringy it got. This is more my vibe, these dark wine ones. I think it's gonna look so good on the couch, just like laid up with this one. Oh, it's just gonna look so good. And then I have my throw. So yeah, that's what I got 
from um, Amazon and they are gonna be linked at my Amazon home store. Speaking of blankets, this is what I got from Home Goods a while ago, well, a couple of vlogs ago. This was $24.99. Y'all know this was like the infamous um, blanket from TikTok and it has like the gold specks in it. I don't know if I can tell and it has little trees on it. That's gonna drape across the couch just like that with the little tassels. I think it's so cute. So that's going there. So I purchased a bunch of these pre-lit trees. These are only $5. Again, from Target, I purchased three of them. I have this one from last year, but it's not pre-lit, so I just think that looks so cute. Having these trees all around your house, you can't go wrong with having these trees, especially the pre-lit ones. So I purchased, purchased three of them. And yeah, I'm just gonna put them around the house in our bedroom, etc. This is for my coffee station. I also purchased from Target. I was eyeing this two-tier, like, thinny thingy for so long, and I finally got it. So this is going to go right in the corner where my coffee station is, where I'll put like little Christmas knickknacks or trees. I'll probably do like a tree or something, or even like I don't know if this house can fit. No, I don't know. We'll do something, we'll, we'll do something. Probably a little tree or something, who knows? We'll just decorate this. Um, This is gonna be for my coffee station, like I said. Along with these two mugs that were $5. So I got these mugs as well to decorate the coffee station with. I have this 25 days at Christmas. I'm probably gonna put this right on the um, wall that's where our like trash can is to put that there. This advent calendar, or like it's like a sign, you can either hang it up or you can put it on the stand. I'm gonna put this by my coffee station. Again, this is all for my coffee station. This was only $5 at Target, and this was also. $5 at Target as well. So I have these. You yeah, know I have these vintage bells. Um, I got mine from Amazon. You can get yours maybe cheaper somewhere else like Walmart or something. I did get the ones from Walmart too, but I just chose to get those because I really like the look of them. But yeah, I had those linked in my Amazon store as well. These I got as well. These little reefs. I have a few of these. I have like three of them, I believe, and they're gonna go around the house. These are $5 ornaments from the Wonder Shop. I have a bowl or a vintage dish on my, um, what is that called, console table that I wanna decorate. These are gonna go in there, so. I got me some ornaments to put on the table, not to like put on the tree. My towel. I thought that that was cute, my dish towel. I love this um, green and red and white vibe. It says Merry Christmas. This is for the kitchen, obviously, for our dish um, thingy. Y'all know what I'm talking about. These are all my florals. Um, these three came from Hobby Lobby. They were 50% off, originally $5.99 each, but they were 50% off, so I have three of them. I do need a couple more because I need some to go down in a fireplace, or maybe not, I don't know, we'll see. But these are gonna go in the dining room um, vase, and then I got these big ones, how tall they are, super tall, super tall, super fluffy. These are from Threshold, they were $15 each. So yeah, I got these to go on the console table. I got this letters to Santa's box. Okay, I got a letter to Santa box. Um, this was for Macy, so this is gonna go part of her decor, which is right here. I'm gonna put this with her um, stuff because that's gonna go in her room as part of her decor for Christmas. <laughs> and then bells I got from Walmart. They were only $9.98. Y'all have been harassing me about these bells. 
Listen, go to your local Target. I mean, not Target. Go to your local Walmart. Hopefully, they got them. But $9.98, you can't beat that for some of those. They're really cute. So, yeah. I got two of these ribbons because I'm going to put them throughout the house. They match the pillow. That's the vibe I'm going for. So, got those. I got two of these. I don't know where I'm putting these, honestly. I don't know if I want them still. I don't think I do. I meant to grab them and put them back. So this is the bag of returns, part two. So yeah. I got another tree, more trees, $5. More trees from Target. I got this one. I don't have anything like this, so I'm happy I got this. This was only $5 as well. It's a velvet green tree. I'm glad I got this because all my other ones are like real life looking. So I got this one. And then I got another one of these. This was only $3. I had another wooden tree, so I'm gonna put these on the console table. Christmas socks, <laughs> they were two for $3 and look at the black Santa. Okay, come through. Fuzzy warm socks, so hey, got me some socks. <laughs> so I got this, I think this is so cute. You can put like a candle, it's a candle holder from the Wonder Shop, it was only $10 and I just love how modern it looks. So this is probably gonna go on my console table and I can put like tea lights in here or something, but yeah. It's really cute and I love it, simple. So I know I have these stockings, but I'm gonna switch it up this year. I purchased these two from Hearth and Hand. They were $14.99 each. And I just think they look so cute. So I'm gonna mix them with the ones that I already had from last year and hang those up. So yeah, last but not least, my favorite thing of all, y'all. My freaking freaking garland y'all this is from walmart y'all saw me get this but i need to go back and get a couple more because this is actually for the fireplace i need one for our staircase so yeah it is the six foot garland it doesn't even say anything else it's just a six foot garland from holiday time that's it 27.88 but uh, I love it. I'm gonna open it and show you guys what it looks like against the fireplace and stuff. So cute, I love it. Yes. Okay, y'all, I have to pause real quick because this is basically how I'm setting up my console table. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna drape anything over there, like a wreath or something. I haven't really saw how that looks, but hold on, hold on, hold on. I know that's ghetto, but I wouldn't put it right there. I would put it um, attached like a plastic hook that I have. Um, the command hooks, the small ones that I have, I'll put one right here to put it, um, it right above the picture. But since I don't have it right now, we're doing that for visuals. So I might put a wreath there. Yeah, that looks nice. I'll put a wreath here. And um, yeah, so this is what I'm envisioning because I have to do this when I decorate. Like. After I purchase stuff, I have to make sure there's a home for it or else it's going right back to the store. So I'm pretty pleased with this area. This, like I said, is the um, candle holder from Target, the pre-lit tree. I have these ornaments right here because I want to put them in a bowl or a dish. So I need to get one of those. And then I just put these two right here. Y'all remember I had the wooden knot, so now I have the, like the wooden tree with the green. And then I'm gonna put the stems in here to see how it looks, but I'm loving it so far. Okay, this is exactly what I want. Pretty simple. Okay guys, we have a problem. I don't like the way these look in here. I don't know, I just, I'm loving the simpleness of this. And I'm gonna tie some ribbon from that reef right there and hang down i think this is it i'm not too sure these are too like overwhelming and when you put 
even the small ones, I'll show you guys. So even when you put those there, I just feel like it's too much greenery. And I could take away this tree and maybe do that. That doesn't look bad. Um, I'm putting the letters to Santa's box by Hearth and Hand, that, that letter box that I showed you guys. I'm getting that and I'm putting it right there as well. So maybe that will look nice. Hmm, I have to go back to um, Hobby Lobby and get more of these. Those are going back. <laughs> but yeah, I like my little tree. I guess that looks fine too. Because that base needs some type of something in it. I do like the way this looks. Okay, yeah. So, letters to Santa box. And then I'll probably have room if I maneuver this right. I'll have room for um, a small dish or something. If not, I honestly can put these like, you know. You know, it's, it's, it's simple. You know what I mean? Like, it's, it's simple. As long as you have some type of feng shui about it, it's fine. But I will be able to put something right here for um, these ornaments. I just wanted to bring out some red. And then that's why I'm adding like the velvet bow to the wreath up there. And then a letter to Santa's box. Okay, so that's better. These are, ugh, I love them. They're just way, they're just, they're just too, they're just too bloopy. I don't know where they're going. They look like they just was doing way too much. I don't know. They were just doing way too much. They're just way too big. So this is going back. And then my coffee station. So for my coffee station, this is what I have so far. Um, I'm gonna get some lights, which I already have, and I wanna string them along here maybe, because I bought string lights, battery operated string lights, and I never used them. So this is what my coffee station is looking like. I might get one more thing to add, but for the most part, this is it. And we're gonna be decorating it next vlog, which will come out Sunday, so yeah. That's cute. This candy dish is leaving. I only put it out during Halloween. So yeah, that's going. But that corner is ready to be decorated. I'll see if I can add one other thing, but for now, this is how it's gonna look. All right, so this is what I mean by the pillows. I love this variation better than the um, bright pillows that I had. Because, uh, because we have a dark sectional, these colors really bring out um, that vibe of the Christmas feeling but not going overboard it might look bright on camera but these pillows are so dark like they're very dark they're wine red so like a deep red color and then hunter green like a dark green I don't know I forgot the name of it but they're linked in my bio this color and this color is very dark so I'll put the throw right here and I just think they look so much better they go with the whole vibe it's gonna go so good with the vibe of the house i love it and i actually like it against the black so yay so cute I might not have it this high on top of the fireplace. I might start it from right here. I'm just scared it's not gonna, I don't have any hooks for it yet, so I have it placed on top of the fireplace just for show. But when it's time to actually hang it up, I might start it right here, put the hooks right here so that it can hang, hang. Um, but for the purpose of this video, 
for right now. I'm just gonna show you guys how it looks. And I'm absolutely obsessed with it. I need one more to go right here. And then we're done with that. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna get a reef to go right here yet still, I'm not sure. But I have the logs and I might do something else, but I like to keep my fireplace pretty plain. This year, I'm probably gonna put like something right here. I don't know, some type of decor. I really want like a sleigh or something. I don't know, we'll see. Or like a ladder, I don't know, we'll see. But this is absolutely gorgeous and worth every dime because it's giving um, expensive, but not because it was only 28 bucks compared to what normally these type of garlands cost. I'm obsessed with it. Okay, now I'm gonna see how it looks on the staircase just to see if I need to buy this one again or another one. Okay, this is pretty bad. <laughs> don't like this for the staircase I'm actually thinking of just using it for a fireplace I'll probably get one more and then get the other one that was $20 the one I showed you guys for the staircase it doesn't have this log part it just has like the full garland so yeah that's probably what I'm gonna do um and those are nine feet so that's good this is six foot so I know six feet fits okay yeah this is a no-go I don't know if I showed this, but I went to Dollar Tree real quick, and I didn't find much at Dollar Tree, honestly, but I purchased these for Macy. You guys know that I did the um, fall ones, so now I'm doing like the holiday ones, and they're just paint, and she loves to paint, so these are like a dollar. And yeah, I'm gonna save these for our little activities on the weekends to do. Okay, y'all. All right, y'all. Y'all probably think I'm crazy, but I'm back at Target. I'm returning these stems. They're too big, y'all. These stems. I'm returning them, and um, I'm gonna get that letter box from Magnolia. Or no, not. I'm gonna get that letter box from Hearth and Hand that I want, that I've been wanted since last year. <laughs> Finally gonna get it. But that's it. And um, that's really all I came here for. I was gonna get Macy from school because. It's about that time, but she's gonna be home super early if I pick her up now. But I don't feel like going all the way back home and then coming all the way back. That's, that. I definitely don't wanna do that. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see, we'll see. Um. Yeah, but let's go and decide. Well, y'all need to go with me and Target again because we just spent a bunch of time in there. I'm gonna go in, get this letter box real quick, make this return and see if I should get Macy or not from school. <laughs> I got it guys, I got it. I got it. Yo, I've been looking for this thing for, since last year. And I finally got it. And then, I got these spice jars. They were only like three bucks. I'm gonna put them here. Actually, let me get rid of this. I think I'm gonna put these. Let me open them. Oh, are you kidding me? They're pumpkin. Huh? What's the dog thing? Mommy, I can't be curious of it. Here are these two paints. Those are, when Christmas comes, you can, um, when Christmas comes, you can use those. Look, Mommy, I know I, I, it's almost, so I want to paint them now. Okay, so this is like and my if vision. You Yeah, no, I, I'm not, let me see. Not right now, okay? So, these jars are pumpkin. I didn't realize they're pumpkin, but 
who cares? Let's let's act like they aren't for a second. And I have these little ornaments that I'm gonna cut the ties off of. They're only a dollar. I wanna cut those off. I wanna put marshmallows in these and like little mini candy canes in this one. And then I'm gonna like it right here is that gonna look weird no it's fine okay i'll probably put this over there and then put this right here yeah okay yeah sorry i'll make you other tablet but look at the box the letters to santa box i have been wanting this forever you could hang it up but i i'm not gonna do that i don't know why you would want to hang it up it looks gorgeous. This was well worth every penny um, from Hearth and Hand collection. It was $49.99, but y'all, I don't care. Worth every penny. I'm going to use it years and years and years. Ah, uh, looks so good. Yes, so that's the last item that I needed for this whole console table thing. So we will start decorating. I kind of hid everything under here. Also, I put things over here. That's pretty much fireplace related. So that's over here. Let me turn the light and I can see. So all this stuff is pretty much fireplace related. And I don't know how I'm going to lay out the, what are these called? Stockings. I don't know how I'm gonna lay them out. Yeah, I can't, these are so cheap. I know um, Target has them for like $15, but I got a pack of four of them for probably around the same price. It's on my Amazon store. But I think I wanna do something like this. Um, yeah. Something like this is probably the pattern I'll go for the fireplace. And I have two extra ones because I had those from last year, of course. So, yeah. I don't know if those candlesticks are staying there. I don't know what I'm doing with those. I just put them there for now. I really don't know how I'm going to decorate the fireplace. The tree's going over here, so these two items, everything in this corner. All right, air purifier, the oculus, the basket, that's all going in somewhere because the tree takes up majority of the space anyway. So yeah, I can't wait to decorate. And in this area, like I said, I have everything over here where it needs to be and how it's supposed to look. So yeah, that's how that is. <sighs> I took those lashes off, y'all. I cannot keep those lashes on. I'm about to change my hair. I have a sponsorship coming up, so stay tuned because we are getting a new hairstyle. Can't wait. But um, yeah, guys, I'm gonna call it a night and edit this video. Prepare. <laughs> Prepare for holiday season with Brittany because I am doing it all this weekend I'm not going anywhere I'm not going anywhere this weekend I'm going to decorate the kitchen area I'll start with the kitchen area I have to figure out what I'm gonna put right here um, I might go out tomorrow and find that tree charcuterie board because I could not find it so I might go out and get that but I have to figure out what I'm doing right here I'll probably put, start doing my dining room, but I probably won't finish this weekend because I don't know exactly what I'm gonna do to it. So I'll start it, but I probably won't finish it. So yeah, guys, I'm excited. I'm excited, I'm excited. <laughs> I cannot wait to decorate with you guys. So stay tuned for Sunday's vlog. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel, support your girl. A lot of you guys are like finding me now and you guys are noticed in my channel, so I appreciate you guys so much. I'm glad that you are enjoying my content, especially the new ones that are here. Thank you guys so much. I hope you enjoy the rest of this season. And yeah, guys, enjoy your weekend, and I will see you Sunday. Bye. Bye. Bye.